In April 1967, Aaron Mitchell was walked into the Apple Green gas chamber at San Quentin State Prison and put to death for the slaying of Aaron Gamble, the first Sacramento police officer killed in the line of duty. Mitchell's last words, I am Jesus Christ. For 25 years and nine more days, San Quentin's death chamber sat unused as legal battles over the death penalty were waged. It came back into operation with the April 21, 1992 cyanide gas execution of Robert Alton Harris. Harris, who had killed two teenage boys in San Diego, one of them the son of a police detective who later arrested him, ate the boys' hamburgers after killing them. He was the first of 13 men to die in the chamber from 1992 through 2006, and one of only two to be executed by lethal gas. The second was David Edwin Mason, who was executed in 1993 when inmates were given the option of choosing between cyanide gas or lethal injection. But Mason, a killer of five who had abandoned his appeals and asked to be put to death, refused to choose, and state policies then called for gas to be used if an inmate would not decide. His death took 14 agonizing minutes, and accounts from those executions led to a federal judge banning the use of gas. Prison officials converted the chamber to a lethal injection room and executed 11 more men until legal fights stopped executions again in 2006. The 2005 lethal injection execution of Stanley Tookie Williams, a co-founder of the Crips Street Gang, helped stoke the legal fights. His execution took nearly 40 minutes, including more than 10 minutes for a technician to find a vein to insert the needle that would carry the poison into his body.